Horrorbots and all of Horrorboxdom, you are! Hey, booze and ghouls, this is Jen, and I have, it's the best day of the whole damn month! It's Fright Crate time! Woohoo! Yes! And this is the 80s Fright Crate Box Edition. Our leader, Jay, decided to grace us with the wonderful 80s edition. Inside this box, we are going to find an item from Tales from the Crypt. We are also going to, which is the one I am just eek! beyond the moon about. We're also going to have something from Cujo, which is something you never, never, never see uh, from, from any of the, anywhere practically. We're also going to be having something from Little Monsters, and we're going to be having something to end it off with the last place. Ah! It's just, my head hurts. It's just too much goodness. Jay is just too damn good to us. Now, I'm not going to front booze and ghouls. I'm like a child. Even though I'm in my 30s, I am still a perpetual child. I could not. People were getting their boxes yesterday, and I watched two good friends of mine's videos, Timmy G and The Horror of the Horror, uh, their unboxing. So I already know what's in this box, but it's one thing to see it on someone else's channel. It's another thing when it's in your hands. So without further ado, let's jump into March's 2018's Fright Crate, because we still believe. Oh, oh, I'm sorry guys, before I actually open the box, I'm, I'm so excited, I, I forgot. Uh, Jay always gives us a very cool um, a quote, and for this one's quote, always make the audience suffer as much as possible, and it's Alfred Hitchcock who said that. So, very, very cool, but enough with that. I want to get into the box, I want to get into the box, I want to get into the box. And what do we have? Oh my god! And the shirt, guys! And it is designed by David Hutchinson, and it is amazing. I am going to be rocking this shirt like nobody's business. I probably live in this shirt. It's just, I, it was incredible. I kind of was hoping it was going to be a Tales from the Crypt shirt, but I would have been happy with whatever Jay did. But, oh my God, I absolutely love this shirt. Just And the detail, the colors. It's a black t-shirt, but the colors on the shirt are extremely vibrant. And it just has, how can you not love it? It has our old pal, the Crypt Keeper, booze and ghouls. and they're just awesome and I am proud to wear them both on shirts. I just, this is gonna be, I feel so cool with this shirt. <laughs> Jay, you can even make a nerd like me feel cool. That's quite an accomplishment. So yeah, just incredible, incredible, incredible. Love it! Oh my god, and I see our Cujo item and it's just adorable. It's little Cujo and he's got blood all over his mouth. Oh my god. on my horror shelf and I absolutely love it. Look at this guys. Look at how cute little Cujo is with all the blood. Even the back, he's all bloody. It's just so cute, Jay. I love it. It's just so adorable. Oh, let's see. Ah, and we have a patch. Born to be Wild. I believe this is probably from Little Monsters, and this is going to be going, uh, and for those of you who don't know, I, you, uh, for the, those of you who watch my videos, you know this every for, for every Fright Crate, my 16-year-old who loves horror as much as I do, I share the box with him. Uh, this month, I'm going to be getting the majority of the items because I love, the themes were just, ah, but the one, um, the one thing he will be getting is the things from the Little Monsters. He has a very cool horror jacket with his patches and pins, and this will go on with it. It's cute. It's very cute. Born to be wild. <laughs> so, very, very cool. And then to go along with the patch, we have the Little Monsters pin, Howie Mandel's blue face. And it's a very good, as always, the size is very, very cool. Very good size. You can definitely, it's something that pops on a, a, wherever you're going to put it. People are going to notice it. It's not too small, not too big, and very good detail, as always. And this is going to be something that is going to go to the 16-year-old. He'll be real excited for that. Oh, and we also have uh, Nightmares Unhinged, 20 Tales of Terror, from the Twisted Minds of all kinds. I know a couple of these authors, too. 
very, very cool, and I also like the cover. This will definitely be something I'm going to read, and I'll probably let Sparky um, read it too. This is just really not, oh, and it even has, oh cool, it even has some illustrations in this. Very, very cool, guys. I will definitely be giving this a read tonight. Very, very cool. It's a nice book. Thanks, Jay. I always approve of literature. And then the last thing that's in the box, and yes, I already know what it is, because like I said, I'm a child. We have the I Still Believe and it's such an incredible print. And the signature is from Tim Capapella, who, who was the greased up saxophone hardcore ab guy from, I still believe, he was also Tina Turner's, he worked in Tina Turner's band. And it's just awesome! This is definitely my favorite thing in the whole box this month, is this beautiful print and signature. As soon as I get done filming this video, it's going to go into a frame and on my wall. And this is absolutely one of my favorite prints and art pieces that I've ever gotten from Fright Crate. I just love it. And I love that David's there standing there and the bats and it's just, it's just amazing. It's incredible. You knocked it out of the park, Jay. I love it, love it, love it. And, but I love everything in this month's box. This was an incredible month box. You just killed it. Love the book. Love the, love the, uh, Love the Cujo figure, just amazing. This is such a good detail as always, but Serial Resin Co. figures are always the bomb. Uh, Jay and Darren Mitchell always put such great, great uh, figures out. Love their work, appreciate both of your guys' hard work, guys. And the shirt, as always, is just amazing. The Tales from the Crypt shirt, I will definitely be rocking this shirt out. Uh, no way is Christian getting this shirt. <laughs> Sorry, Christian. Next month, uh, it's not. I don't feel too bad because next month we're going to have the Thing and Blob the, um, and the 80s remake, and those are two of his favorites. So I don't feel too bad that I get the majority of the box. And I think, booze and ghouls, except for our cheat sheet, that is pretty much all that's in our box for this month. We have the Lost Boys Celebrity Autograph. We proudly present this month's uh, with the celebrity autograph of Tim Capapella for his unforgettable appearance in the Lost Boys exclusive art by Jay of Fright Crate. Oh, Jay, you did this! You just, I love it! You're so talented and wise and wonderful. I just, you're awesome, Jay. We also have um, an exclusive Tales from the Crypt Cur shirt. The Crypt Keeper is back on Fright Crate, ready for more amazing tales. Amazing exclusive art by David Hutchinson. Uh, the, the, he, Jay uses him a lot for his t-shirts and they're always amazing. I see why Jay uses him so much. We have an exclusive Cujo Cereal Resin figure. Uh, stay in your car for this amazing exclusive figure inspired by Stephen King's Cujo, made by Cereal Resin Co. That's just awesome. It's an awesome, awesome figure, guys. I love it, love it, love it. I just, it's amazing. Look at that. I mean, just all the detail. All of these figures are so worth it. And you never see anything from Cujo either. Um, we also have an exclusive uh, enamel pin from Little Monsters featuring everyone's favorite obnoxious monster. Pin has double clutch and custom back. Keep this item under your bed. Very, very cool. Um, art is by Renegade12 on Instagram. Very good. Exclusive mini replica patch from Little Monsters as well. Very, very cool. Uh, vest is patch, uh, patent designed by Jay, also from Jay, this was also done by Jay, very, very cool. And the Nightmares Unhinged 20 Tales of Terror paperback novel, the 20 Tales of Horror, Count Me In, an amazing read, cover to cover, spell. Oh, I'm not even, sorry, cover to cover, special thanks to, to Joshua Vola, I think I'm saying that right, please check out his other project, Denver Moon, at denvermoon.net. There's also an insert for this month's box. Oh, I guess this is what he's talking about. Very, very cool. Denver M Moon, a serial, a, co a comic book series, novella, and soundtrack. I've never heard about it, but I'm definitely going to check it out. It sounds like something Sparky might be into. And that is it, booze and ghouls, for our March 2018 Fright Crate. It was an incredible box, as always. And this is the part where I tell you to hurry, hurry, Hurry on down to Fright Crate if you already have it, because next month's box is also going to be a stellar box as always. Jay has told us that our themes on uh, Facebook, we're getting something from Beetlejuice. In fact, that's the one he let us pick out. Um, there's also going to be something from the 80s remake of The Blob. There's going to be something from The Thing. There's going to be something from... Um, 
give me a minute, I know I can remember this. Um, there's going to be something from 30 Days of Night, and I think Jay said there was also going to be something, uh, a surprise thing, if I remember correctly, in the box as well, as if that wasn't all enough. So, as always, uh, Jay, an incredible uh, box. Uh, uh, you just knocked it out of the park. You and Darren Mitchell just, I mean, wow, wow, guys. Loved everything in it. Probably, though, my absolute favorite is definitely the print with the signature. The print is awesome by itself, and the signature is just, wow. It's going to go in a place of honor on my horror wall. So, um, I love Fright Crate. Any horror person loves Fright Crate. You should, you guys should definitely get a Fright Crate if you don't already have one. Go hurry on down to FrightCrate.net to get yours before they're going to be gone quick. I'm, I'm surprised they're not already gone. They're going to be gone quick. So, go out there and show uh, Fright Crate Jay and Darren Mitchell some love. And uh, it's just, it's, you, if you're a horror fan, you just can't go wrong. Um, as always, if you guys like the, enjoy the content of this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Appreciate every subscriber I get. And with that, I wish you a good day, a good evening, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye! Okay guys, uh, this is just a real quick, I had to show you guys um, after the video, I immediately put little Cujo in his home with all my other little horror figures, and he just looks so right there. I mean, he just, he, he, this was the part he needed. This is his home now. This is where little Cujo will live. Um, he just looks so amazing, especially with all my other wonderful figures from Serial Resin Co. and a few other, some of them are, are all from Jay, some of them are from other places I've found, but I just think he really, wor he just gives gives a touch of panache on my horror shelf and I wanted you guys to see how awesome he looked. He's just so goddamn cute. I love him. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So say, say bye bye Cujo.